Hi, thank you for tuning in. Today I will show you five ways to keep focus while filming using your Glycam system. So without any further ado, let's roll it. The first thing uh, to do is, you know, if you have lots of money, uh, you'll buy an expensive manual focus system and have an assistant operator pull while filming and recording at the same time. That's basically the first thing to do if you have a lot of money. The second thing to do as a one man band operator, um, it is to set your focus on a distance point of shoot and maintain the same focus distance while moving with the subject. It may take you several takes if you are just, you know, studying the process, um, but you will surely nail it if you keep practicing. You will need to do some manual settings on the camera before recording. You have to flip your camera, um, the, the setting on the, on the photo mode, and then set focus on the camera by pressing the shoot button while looking on the camera, focusing on your subject. Once you've maintained focus, you can now switch uh, the camera back to the to the video mode and then start recording while moving with the subject. Now the third thing to do is to pull continuous focus manually while filming on the move. This will maintain the shallow depth of field for a different film look. You will use one of your hands to maintain the handle of the glide cam vertically and then the other hand uh, will be to pull focus directly on the lens of your camera. This will produce good results if you do it correctly, especially if you are you know, walking slowly with the subject and pulling focus simultaneously. One thing to be aware of, you should know that this technique will suit you more I mean, if you, you are a run and gun shooter Perhaps, you know, on a music video shoot like, you know, many filmmakers do. The fourth thing to do will be filming by setting your camera on a higher aperture mode, um, like um, aperture 22. Using this option would keep everything in focus, but without the shallow depth of field, which is the cinematic look. This will suit you more if you are on a fast shooting space, you know, having everything in focus, like, you know, a chase scene or something like a wedding, you know, where everybody's on the move. Uh, you will have to use both hands and maintain the level of the glide cam and then move along with the subject while keeping focus. The fifth option would be to, to buy a camera with a good autofocus system like the Canon Duo Pixel camera which has the best autofocus so far. Uh, there are two options to consider in this area though. The first one is to, is you will have to set your camera on the flexi zone autofocus mode. On this mode, um, if you move the tiny square box um, on the screen of your camera and then set it on the subject and start recording, then that is what is going to stay on focus throughout, no matter how fast or slow that you move along with the subject. The second setting would be the uh, tracking autofocus mode. Basically, this option will only track the face of the subject while recording your video, uh, but it only works when there is only one face and not two faces or many faces. There's, there's going to be some disruption there. Um, what I recommend is to use this when you are actually, you know, shooting like an interview where, where somebody just sat in one place 
like in a studio or an office area. That is pretty good because it only tracks that face that is on the screen and uh, yeah, it maintains it very well. Well, I hope you found what I said useful. If you have any questions, write your comments on the section uh, below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos like this. My name is David M. See you soon. Take care. Bye.